Hello everybody, hope you guys are doing well today. I apologize for this late video. Um, it's been about 10 days since I've uploaded the last video. Um, but I I'm I'm back and everything's fine. Just a little bit busy this week. Um, I did never get to fly and every time I did try to make a video, uh, somehow my uh, prepared always decided to crash. And I've tried this flight now. I think three times, not this exact flight, but at least from Dubai, <laughs> three times, and always on the way it crashed, um, which is very frustrating. So I hope it, it's done. Now I also had issues with Orbex. I uninstalled um, all the uh, global stuff, hoping, and then reinstalled it, hoping that it's fixed now, but I don't know, I haven't tested it. So we'll see, and I hope crashing will also not be a problem to, on today's flight. So, today's flight obviously bringing us from Dubai to Newark um, with the 777-300 and uh, very nice, um, I don't know, I'm not sure if you guys saw the live stream that was today actually, um, at least at the day of the recording, um, the uh, 777X did its first flight and yeah, it looks so majestic, it looks really beautiful. So we'll fly the 7, the 777-300 in uh in respect for uh, Boeing finally being able to come through with their product and uh hopefully uh have a nice future with the uh, Max as well as the 777X. I'm still an Airbus fan. I'm still <laughs> I'm still a big Airbus guy. Um but I still enjoy what Boeing brings out. Um so yeah. I also want to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel. Um, I've gained an incredible amount. I've gained 90 subscribers in the past, I think, two months, two to three months, which is absolutely insane, in my opinion. It's we're at I think 230 people, 230 people around, around about, which is almost close, at least close to it, which is crazy in my in my eyes. Um, never did I think I could reach this, and I know a lot of YouTubers say that. But honestly, with flight sim, I don't really expect a lot of people uh, to subscribe to your channel. And I've also been getting quite a bit of compliments, which I I'm for super grateful for all of them. And uh, yeah, I'm always open to, uh, for suggestions, for flight suggestions, if you guys have any as well. Um, I'm also planning, it's been a long time since I've actually promised this. But I am still planning to do a FS to crew tutorial for the Majestic Dash 8 um, Q400. We'll see when that comes out. I <laughs> it might take a couple months more because I'm just so busy that I I'm not I don't have a lot of time to study the aircraft. Um, but we'll see. So about two minutes left until uh, we get our load sheet. We might might as well just skip to that time. Um, but till then, go ahead and head into the cockpit and uh, see if there's anything else we could do. So, go ahead and go to <coughs> seven minutes. Hi guys, here's the load shoot for you. Have a safe flight. Thanks. And we will now enter that into our flight plan. Our reserves today. Um, seven point six. Initial altitude three thousand. Excuse me, thirty thousand feet, and we'll use a constant index of eighty and two thousand. Just limit takeoff, but the assumed temperature of forty-one degrees. Flaps five. Um, these speeds today 172, 186, and 190. And VNAV engaged. Look at progress 160 until top of top of cruise, which is perfectly fine. We can go and start the APU, and with that, we will disconnect 
the uh, air conditioning unit. Packs come to auto and recirculation fans can come on now. Verify the seatbelt sign is on, which it is. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board today. As you locate your assigned seats, please place your smaller items under the seat in front of you to provide more room for larger items in our overhead compartments. If you need assistance, contact the flight attendant. If you are unable to accommodate any item in the cabin, please bring it to the boarding door and we will check it for you. Also, we review the safety instruction card in your seat pocket. If you are seated at an exit seat, also review the exit seat. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead. Please disconnect the GPU. Roger, disconnecting the GPU. GPU is disconnected. Captain, the GPU is disconnected. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead. Can we pressurize the hydraulics? Roger, you are clear to pressurize the hydraulics. All right, guys. Everyone's seated. We're all buttoned up and ready to go in the back. Thanks. If you need anything, just let me know. All right. Before start procedure. Are we clear to pressurize? Yes. Okay. I am ready for the checklist. Before start checklist. Before start checklist. Flight deck door. Closed and locked. MCP. V2190, heading 299, altitude 4,000 feet. Takeoff speeds. V1172, VR186, V2190. CDU preflight. Completed. Completed. Trim. Six units, zero and zero. Taxi and takeoff briefing. Completed. Before start checklist complete.
to fly deck. Go ahead. Communication check, please, and confirm the brakes are set. Communications are okay, and the brakes are set. East, release break, please. Start sequence is two, then one. Check. Brakes released. Okay, commencing pushback. Behind, and you can start your engines at your discretion. Start engine two. Starting two. Oil pressure. Start engine one. Starting one. Go ahead, copy. Oil pressure. Set parking brakes, please. We're clear to disconnect and go to hand signals. Thanks so long. Have a good flight. Flaps five. Flaps five. Before taxi checklist. Before taxi checklist. Anti ice. Auto. Recall. Checked. Flight controls. Checked. Ground equipment. Clear. Before taxi checklist complete. Clear left. Clear right.
Here we go. On my entry procedure. Check. Clear on the approach. Check. Take off. Check. Thrust On set. Incorrect. 80 knots. Checked. Rotate. Positive rate. Gear up. Four hundred feet. Climb. Flaps. Speed check flaps up. Thousand feet to level off. After takeoff checklist. After takeoff checklist. <laughs> 
After takeoff checklist complete. Ten thousand feet. All right, guys, that is ten thousand feet. Since it's nighttime, I really can't do time lapse. It won't really make a difference on looks. Um, I pretty sure I planned it correctly that. Um, when we arrive, it should be sunrise. We'll see how well I planned it out. Maybe it might already be light outside, um, but I'm not expecting it to be dark. So we'll see. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And um, I'm always used to making the doing the two parts, but now that I I can edit, I don't have to do that. So yeah, we'll see you on the approach. Till then. Welcome back. As you can see, we're now at 10,000 feet. Our minimums and our uh, barometric pressure has been set. A little bit cloudy here in uh, in New York, um, but uh, nothing we can't handle for sure. Pretty much nothing there. Graphics are nice, except for here a little bit of blue there, saturation. But that's all right. You can see, we're just gonna do this left turn here, and then uh, we should be ready to go. Might actually start the turn early. Ten thousand feet. Cabin crew prepare for landing. Flaps five. Speed check, flaps five. Thank you. 
Radio altimeter alive. Cabin crew, take your seats. Flaps 15. Speed check, flaps 15. You're down. Flaps 20. Speed check, flaps 20. Flaps 30. Speed check, flaps 30. One thousand feet. Approach stable. Landing checklist. Landing checklist. Landing checklist complete. Cleared. Checked. Five hundred feet. Five hundred. Approaching minimums. Minimum. Landing. Checked. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Speed brakes up. Reversers normal. Sixty knots. Four thousand feet remaining. Okay to clean up.
Lights and doors. Cabin crew disarm doors and cross check. Cockpit ground. Go ahead. I am ready for the checklist. Please connect the external air. Roger, connecting the air start unit. Uh, Shut down checklist. Shut down checklist. Parking brake. Set. Captain, the air start unit's connected. Shut down checklist complete. Alright guys, that was the end of this flight. A total of 13 hours and 33 minutes, which is incredibly long. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope uh, I didn't record this video a bit too late. But uh, yeah, very beautiful um, things that have changed in uh, since the last videos is I do have HD buildings from Orvex and HD trees as well. So if, in case you guys notice any difference, but um, performance is about the same. It's barely different. As you can tell, it's still pretty decent even here in, uh, in a very populous, very populous scenery. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you guys want to see, if there's anything specific, any specific airports you guys want to see, and I'll consider doing them. Thanks again, and until then, bye.